Like and subscribe or this spider will crawl on you when you're sleeping. Welcome back to Trend Dive. Today, we are going to talk about some YouTubers behind the voices. This involves taking a look at different voicing roles that famous YouTubers have taken on. Surprisingly enough, a lot of YouTubers have some really good voices. Some just have the natural born talent of having an awesome voice. Make sure to stay till number one to see how crazy this mystery YouTuber's voiceover sounds. Number five, Jojo Siwa. One of the most popular YouTubers in the world who goes by the name Jojo Siwa ends up performing a voiceover role in an equally popular animation movie, Angry Birds 2. Yes, you probably didn't know that. She ended up having a role where she voiced one of the kid birds in the movie and ended up doing quite a good job. It's also amazing because her voice perfectly fits into the role of this character. To the mic and doing these great performances. And then Jojo Siwa agreed to do a voice. Mommy, did you get my picture? Did you get it, Mom? She's got so much energy and has this little raspy voice. And I think it just makes her pop. Oh. Mm, I got it! Oh. I was just so happy because I've never done a feature film before. So what better way to jump into the feature film world than the most adorable and awesome animation ever? Red here has got your back. And your front, and your sides. And my floof? Yeah, even your cute little floof. Looks like you're gonna be okay. Number four, Dan TDM. Dan is probably one of the YouTubers to have the most voiceover roles in animation movie. This is because he has done the action for two different characters. The first character was one named E-Boy in the movie Wreck-It Ralph 2. The popular YouTuber was invited by Disney to America to record his lines. However, Dan's voice is used only in the UK version of the movie and his fans in America, Australia and other countries completely missed his involvement as a character. It's really amazing to hear his voice in such an animated movie. Let's take a look. I'm so excited to finally announce that I have a UK cameo in Walt Disney Animation Studios brand new film, Wreck-It Ralph 2, also known as Ralph Breaks the Internet. And the movie's out this week. I'm so pleased. I'm a massive fan of the first Wreck-It Ralph film. So when I heard they were doing a sequel about the internet, I was super hyped and I had no idea that not only would I be able to watch it, but I'm gonna be in it. So earlier I teamed up with both Make-A-Wish and eBay as well, and they helped to make this whole thing happen. And this is what went on. The role of Dan's character in the movie was quite interesting and he played an important part in the entire storyline. He seemed quite grateful that he was able to be in the movie as he has been a fan of the first Wreck-It Ralph movie. Let's see what his role looks like in the movie. I've seen it and you weren't able to see my part because you don't live in the UK. I've got a little treat for you. It's only a 17 second video, but it shows me recording my voice alongside E-Boy. So we're going to react to that right now. I'm going to show you guys it. You ready? Let's do it. So these are the two directors which you would have seen in my previous video. Let's just play the thing. Here we go. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. <laughs> Who are you? I'm your friendly eBay alert messenger. I'm your friendly eBay alert messenger. Just here to let you know your bid expires in eight hours. Okay, thanks, E-Boy. You got it, governor. <laughs> Oh man, I love, I love E-Boy. He's so cute. He's so cute. And he has a very important um, job in the film, I'll have you know. If, if he doesn't remind Ralph and Vanellope that they need to buy their steering wheel, then film's over. They're done. But E-Boy comes to save the day. So there you go. There's a little snippet of my part in the UK version of the film. If you haven't seen it yet, again, it's in cinemas right now. It's number one film of the month. The second movie which Dan TDM featured in was actually a TV show on Netflix named Skylanders Academy. Just like in the first movie, his character also had an important role in bringing other Skylanders together. Let's check it out. Guys, I have massive news. First off, this video is an ad made in partnership with Activision, but for a very good reason. Guys, I am in a TV show on Netflix. How cool is that? And the show that I'm in is called Skylanders Academy, which is out on Netflix right now. So my character is called Sai, and I'll throw some clips up on the screen right now. He is a banana-headed custom Skylander that was built by the other Skylanders in the Academy, which is awesome. So yeah, he has a banana head, he has some wicked armor, and he can also fly and has mashed potato powers. 
What an awesome Skylander! And it turns out the Psy is actually the secret to the rest of the Skylanders bonding together as a team to become as strong as they can be by being themselves and not imitating anyone else, being their own unique Skylander. Number three, Thatcher Joe. Joe is a really talented YouTuber who has the ability to mimic the voices of many animation characters. He once made a video of him mimicking the voices of over 75 different movie characters. He started out with cartoon characters such as Spongebob and went ahead to do characters in real movies. Joe managed to do so well and sounded just like them. He made a video of himself mimicking 75 different characters in a mere 5 minutes. Joe has expressed his desire to be a voiceover actor in an animation movie and with his raw talent, it seems like he would do well. What do you want, SpongeBob? <gasps> Ahoy there, Krusty Krab! How can I help you? <laughs> really? Like Zoic Scoob? Name's Bruce. It's alright, I understand. Why trust a shark? Bubbles! 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 My bubbles. Whoa, dude. Mr. Turtle is my father. The name's Crush. Hi there, my name is Kermit the Frog, and this is The Muppet Show. Mm, Kermit, you got that all wrong. Cake. Everybody loves cake. Cake has layers. No! Oh, donkey! Oh, I think R2 is trying to give you a message, Master Luke. Use the force, Luke. Mm, Jedi you are. I am the Emperor. I'm Count Doku. I think this is my voice, I'm not too sure. <laughs> Have some electric, you little shit. Number 2, Dan and Phil. Dan and Phil are one of the most popular YouTubers in the UK. Well, it managed to earn them a role in a blockbuster animation movie. They were called by Disney to be voiceover actors in the movie Big Hero 6. The two brothers were invited to play the role of two scientists and were very glad to fulfill their role in the movie. The characters in the movie were named Technician 1 and Technician 2. What's even more amazing is that the characters bore a similar appearance to both brothers. Let's see how both brothers reacted to being in the movie. Here we are at Shepton Studios. The time has come. Let's do this. Hello, I am Baymax. Me and Phil have been asked to voice two characters in Big Hero 6. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having like an internal meltdown. <laughs> People are like, you're in a Disney movie. When I found out this was happening, I skipped around the house. I was like, are you sure you didn't mean to CC Tom Cruise instead <laughs> of Dan in this email? You gave me a heart attack. Clear. Stop, stop, stop. It's just an express. Dan and Phil went over to Disney Studios to record their voice roles and were quite nervous at the first attempt. However, they managed to do a good job and their voices made it to the movie. They even had to repeat their lines several times, but everything still turned out great. It was a big moment to see two popular YouTubers get featured in a Disney movie as huge as that. Let's see how they performed. Like, you're in a Disney movie? When I found out this was happening, I skipped around the house. I was like, are you sure you didn't mean to CC Tom Cruise instead <laughs> of Dan in this email? Technician 1 and 2. I have a guy with brown hair. Yeah. If I kind of just did this, I'd look like the guy in the film. Mine's yeah. slightly receding and older than me. <laughs> I have been living as male technician one for like a week and a half now. The director said if there's exclamation marks, I have to give it my all. I was just extremely excited to come to the studios and see how the whole thing is put together. There's quite a lot of words in this one, so if I get it wrong 19 times, then just forgive me in advance. And it turned out that we'd be stood in front of a microphone in front of a giant projection of the movie. Yeah, I was terrified. We've lost all contact with the pod. Sir, we've picked up a slight irregularity in the magnetic... Hi. We had Rick the director there, and we watched Instant Criticism. Let's try it again with a little more projection. Field breach, abort. The magnetic containment field is down. It's breaking up. That was perfect. Number one, KSI. KSI actually acted in his own movie with another YouTuber. This movie was titled Laid in America. The movie was about two English boys who go to America and experience what it means to go to school there. The movie was funny and entertaining. It was also a chance for people to see what it meant for a YouTuber to act in a major movie. Take a look. Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? So right now, I'm backstage of the... 
backstage of the Lead in America premiere, and we're about to go on on our segways. We got, <laughs> we got actual segways. Uh, if you watch the movie, you'll understand why we have segways. Thanks for watching. While you are here, click on one of these videos on your screen. See you there.